I've got diabetic constituents who are waiting for insulin. I've got constituents with cancer waiting for chemo drugs to come in. But this headline really took the, the cake for me. Rats reported feeding on packages of rotted fruit and meat as Postmaster General's cutbacks unleash chaos in ca at California's mail centers. This is from not some haven of uh, liberal fake news, Business Insider magazine. Mr. Postmaster General, um, why do you celebrate on-time departure of postal vehicles if the deterioration in service that you regret has caused letters and packages left stacking up in the mail centers? Should we be celebrating vehicles going out on time if they don't have people's packages and letters on them and their, their prescription drugs? Uh, so we're concerned with every late delivery and every package buildup, and there are a lot of contributing factors to why, it, it, you know, and okay. where. And we got I, your... But yeah, let me finish. The, yeah. the, uh, uh, the, the, the process uh, is an integral part of delivering the mail and uh, cost-effectively. Okay. okay. The President and Trump why called we, the post why office... Why would we... Is the alternative is to run trucks late and run extra trips? Extra trips were empty also, thousands of them empty. Okay, oh, forgive I, me, because I've got limited time. Yep. I can't allow you to filibuster here. President Trump called the post office a joke. Is it a joke? Postal service is not a joke. Um, Mr. Joy, if I wanted to become a letter carrier or a mail handler, a postal clerk, would you hire me without a background check? Uh, we have a process that I do believe includes a background check, so no. Yeah, it's compelled, right? Everybody's got to take a background check, except they didn't have one for you. That's not true. I had background checks. You did have a background yes. check? So background checks. I got secret clearance. I had FBI background checks. I've had everything. Okay, so you would be willing to release the background check? No. Why would I release a background check? Well, that's interesting. Uh, let, let, me, let me go to Mr. Duncan about that. Mr. Duncan, um, would you be willing to, um, <clears throat> to allow Russell Reynolds to turn over the file from this process? Mr. Duncan? <clears throat> All right, well, let me come back to you, Mr. DeJoy. Um, the, the former chairman of the Postal, uh, vice chairman of the Postal Board of Governors, um, Mr. Williams, who was also the uh, inspector general, uh, also uh, reported that you didn't come through the normal Russell Reynolds interview process, but you were apparently the product of different nominations by different political people. And the astonishing thing about what he said last week was that when you finally were brought in for that first interview, you basically interviewed the selection panel rather than them interviewing you, to the point that one of the members joked that they had better ask you at least one question so that it couldn't be said that it wasn't a real interview. Now, uh, you were also reported stating that um, you weren't sure that you wanted to accept the job and you needed to essentially interview them about what it entailed. What gave you the confidence that the job was basically yours for the asking when you finally met the selection committee? Uh, sir, I did not think the job was mine for the asking. Uh, I, have, I don't know what uh, Mr. Williams' contention is or what his problem is with me. Uh, I he was the inspector was... general for 13 years at the Postal oh, Service oh, and the okay. vice chair. Well, so, he, well, he's part. He's authored probably part of the reports that have been stacking up that well, this committee hasn't done. Well, what do you make that. of the former chairman of the Postal Board of Governors, uh, Mr. Feynman, calling Treasury Secretary Mnuchin's involvement in the selection process absolutely unprecedented? I, M Stephen Mnuchin had nothing to do with uh, uh, my selection. Okay, I was, I was called by Russell. Did Ryan. you talk to Secretary Mnuchin about taking the job? There was a report that you had lunch together to discuss it's, this. It's totally inaccurate and outrageous. You've never talked to him about, you, but before taking the job, you never talked to him about taking I the job? I talked to him about the job after I received the offer. I, I did not accept the offer immediately. Okay, but you never spoke to him before about, the, about his soliciting your interest in the job or... He did not solicit any interest. I, I kept my interest, which I, as you identified, I did not know that I had an interest. I had a perfectly good life uh, prior to this, uh, but I was interested in, in helping and I uh, was called by Russell Reynolds 
uh, well, uh, okay. out of the blue. One of the, one of the reasons that we have background checks, and I'll be very interested yeah. with, with your permission and Mr. Duncan's permission to see your background check, is that we identify patterns of misconduct or potential conflicts of interest that are out there. Now, you I had... That, sir, I have no patterns of misconduct well, no, in my Let background. me finish my question, if I could. Madam Chair, One of your businesses time. was called New Breed Logistics, later XPO Logistics, which has contracts with the Postal Service stretching back many years. Okay, well, the question is, they, the, they identified problems with contract performance and billing practices in the contract file. Would you consent to releasing that contract file so everyone can see what your business... I, 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 don't, I don't even know what you're speaking about. I, are, you not, uh, are you not aware of XPO Logistics, which... I am took, aware of XPO Okay, so uh, do you have $30 million invested? Time, Madam Chair. He's gone way over his time. Do you have $30 million I, invested? I, I, that, yeah, he doesn't, I have a significant investment in XPO Logistics, which I vetted before with the Ethics uh, Department of the Postal Service, and I was given specific types of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, guidelines that I needed to adhere to. It's a very, very small part of the Postal Service business I have nothing to do with, and uh, I, my, uh, my et I comply with all ethical requirements, and we have an OIG investigation. I'll get I guess they'll get to everything that you're interested in, and we will see what will happen. Well, Mr. Raskin's time has expired.